This episode of Haikyuu is titled Take It Easy. I wonder why, but take it easy. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Haikyuu to the top or season four, episode four called Take It Easy. I'm assuming someone's gonna, I don't think get injured, but maybe kind of go a little hard for training and maybe just gets told to take it easy. That's just generally what I'd assume. But uh, I'm super excited. Everyone's getting their training going. I love Hinata's perspective change and how much information he's being able to gather. We ended with Tsukushima wanting to tell him something, so I'm so curious what that is. And yeah, I think we're just going to not waste any more time. We're just going to hop right on into this. I'm so curious. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Black Clover, Jujutsu Kaisen, many more, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. Links are always available for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below. It really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch and Twitter at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys oh so very much. Uh, let's hop right on into this though. Uh, hike you to the top or season four. Take it easy. Let's do it. Tsukushima <laughs> actually wants to do extracurricular training. <laughs> He's so pumped about it. Because He's, he mentioned it. Oh, he mentioned. Yeah, definitely put those away. He mentioned it last episode. He feels like. And I don't know if it's a conflict of what he secretly wants to do, because he says he's not super interested in extracurricular or going that extra mile, you know, but then he loves when he does. And he 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 I, I feel like he is going that extra mile a lot of the ways. So seeing Hinata constantly go out of his way to just push beyond, push further than his limits, he, he said last episode it constantly makes him want to do something. So I think he is going to start doing something, even though, like I said, he's been doing something forever. But it's just like he wants to actively pursue that. The National Training Center. Oh, my God. They are eating good. Ooh, Sakusa. まだビデオ見れてないんだけど、白鳥沢は何で負けたの。あ、アスキンム。ああ。じゃあ、なんで負けんだよ。どんな手使った。誰か若年くん止めた。ハプルタイムス。もう止めてました。誰。おお、
Wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, future ace. I see you go, Shiki. Which fascinates me to a whole other level. True. True. I love getting in Tsukushima's head. Like I said, best boy. He's definitely used to compact and zippy. Yeah, Kageyama is disgusting when it comes to volleyball. He's so good. I want to know this guy. This guy fascinates me a lot. Him and Birdman. Also Sakusa, obviously. Ooh, okay. Oh my lordy McLorderton. This man has some bounce. Jesus Christ. I love the way he's like the light. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> he's getting into it. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. And he's looking at him, too. I'm so curious, man. I'm so curious. Confrontation already? But he's used to Hinata, so. So is this like a Hinata, but national level good Hinata? Second year setter, Mia Atsumi. Ooh, ooh. Ah. Uh -huh. See, he has one of those fake smiles where he's like super, like, sadistic and just fucking despicable underneath. Kind of like uh, Periston from Hunter Hunter. If you know who I'm talking about, that exact same smile. Oh, I'm telling you, this man is the best ball boy fucking out here that shines on his thumbs. I love that for Kunimi. He's a lazy one. あいつ苦手だ。国見か。みんな一生懸命やってんのに、一人だけあんまやる気なくね。体力を温存してて、試合後半に本気出してくんの超厄介なんだぞ。まあ、拾えるボールは追った方がいいよな。だろ。楽し
俺も選ばれればよかったじゃねここに呼ばれたやつは何かしらすごいやつらで百座なんつってもでっけえだろうん俺はでかいだけだうわーいどけってなんだお,お前お,お前2メートルってすんげえだろだってサーバー頑張れるけど身長は頑張るも何もねえし Bro, you will be a fucking monster in a year or two, Yakuzawa. He needed to hear that. Just a little bit of motivation. At your best makes him better. It's all I'm saying. This, the competitive nature of all these guys is so incredible. I love it. Look at them. Ambition. Going crazy, you know? My man Hinata is. <laughs> He's so cool right now. Hell yeah. I see. So we got that from Kunimi. Take it easy. Doesn't pass on the stress and the the pressure onto them too. Give time to relax. Loose. Yep. They always seem like they have more time to do more. You know, that's what they're saying. Yes. That's a bit. That's exactly what the coach said. Very simple and trivial. Thing that can have such an impact on your personal morale, like dealing with something like that over and over and over again as quickly as possible. Just you know, to work, you know, helping your team, your teamwork, and all that. A little rhythm back is all you need. Hell yeah! And Hinata was the one who was able to teach him this from the things Hinata gathered from his own mind. You know, you love to see it. He's truly making a change at this training camp, and I love it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's where it ended? Come on, man. Give me some more training. So I'm super curious about how much better Hinata is going to be, like, let's say from now throughout the season four, maybe even season five, which a lot of you guys have told me is definitely on the way. Um, only because the bird guy, I still don't know his name. I got the other guy's name, Mia Atsumo, the setter, the second year setter. I wonder if bird guy is a first year because he really reminds me of Hinata where he's short, super agile, and he has insane hops. I even love how Kageyama can probably see Hinata in him just because he says you're a great reference. That's just so funny. But I am definitely curious on to compare him to Hinata because like to me, as of right now, he reminds me of a Hinata who is just like because Hinata's S tier reflexes and jumps, you know, but like C or D tier, everything else serving receives a lot of other stuff. Blocking, I would say he's like B tier in because he definitely has had some really good one touches and blocks, but this bird guy at the National Training Center reminds me of a Hinata with those S tier agility, S tier bounce and movement, but with like A tier everything else. Like he's great at receives, he's great at reading. Like he seems to be just, I mean, he's at the national camp, you know, so he has to be just insane. And he had to, he had to make a point about how more people are just always amazed by and you know, underestimating him for his height, you know. So it's like, I, I see a lot of Hinata in there, but I cannot wait for Hinata to beat him, you know, go crazy. I'm really curious to see more about Mia Atsumo as well and his fake smile and how sadic you know, sadistic he is. Um, his training camp is going amazing. I love Hinata being able to teach, being open-minded, absorbing all this information. Take it easy. I love how that related from Kunimi, from Kogunegawa and how he didn't like that, over to how much it helps him in certain situations and over to Hyakuzawa. I, I feel so bad for how... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I apologize. That kind of hit me out of nowhere. Um, I feel so bad for how Hyakuzawa was down in the dumps because of that. You know, like he has this natural latent ability, but he feels like, he, you know, he's, he's getting left in the dumps. He feels like he's dragging his teammate down. Like, I feel so bad. And Hinata was one of the perfect ones to kind of 
chew him out or put him in the right spot because they've gone against each other before and and the whole thing i wish you were invited not me you know like obviously you were invited for a reason you're like it's like obviously he just he told him exactly what he needed to hear and then the whole take it easy help with the it's just it's just amazing I was, training you can't go wrong with training training is amazing i love it it makes us, our characters develop mentally and physically like how do you not love that but i'm probably gonna end it here uh thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below check out that patreon follow me on all my social medias i appreciate you dapper squad have a great day peace out y'all